Welcome and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Journeys in the Stolen Lands. We need to deal with Bald Hilltop. I think we're just going to head there and see if we can visually see what's going on. Um, apparently, it's it's like a more dire situation than usual there at Bald Hilltop. There's like Faye doing something uh, even more mischievous than normal. So I guess we're going to go check it out. I'm not sure if there is also like a uh, kingdom event or project we need to do along with this uh, in addition to the normal one that comes with Bald Hilltop. But anyway, we're going to go here and check it out and see what's going on. Okay, we do have a portal here, so we know at least there's that to deal with. Um, we'll get some buffs put on people. We've got red caps galore, it looks like. I'm sure there'll be other stuff coming out of this portal as well. I think this would be a good time to put greater invisibility on Kane. I need to remember we took the feat for her for meta magic to uh, extend, and I was going to use that on the greater invisibility spell. I've, I've forgotten to do that. Maybe we'll go ahead and put out the guarded hearth too. Uh, if I can find that. My uh, quick bars got kind of messed up here last time he leveled up. Where is it? Was that uh, like special from an, an item or something? I don't see it anywhere. Here it is. Okay, it's under abilities. All right, we'll see if Kane can get in here and do some damage. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and put his rage ability on. Nice. So we're making pretty quick work of these red caps. I'm pretty sure there's going to be more coming though. It would be abnormal for this place if there weren't more. Here we go. Okay. That's more like it. Oh, nice. So, Alvar must have gotten a crit on the Dwemer Cat, which in turn gave Kane an attack of opportunity, which killed that cat and the red cap next to him, I think. That was nice. Who is this now? <laughs> Looks like somebody out of Saints Row or something all of a sudden. Boogeyman. Nice. Let's get a Halvar out front here a little bit. Kane's got the invisibility on, but I think they're probably still going to see him. Let's let's uh, just move him over here a little bit. Deepest fear. We need some protection from fear. Amaya's got that. We got red caps just coming in from all directions. Oh shoot, she's like confused. Great. Oh, there's another. So there's Leafless Lady. Is there someone else back here? Like in the behind the portal? Or is that just like her reflection? Out of my way! I was thinking about sending Kane back here. I guess we still could, actually. He doesn't even need the uh, Slayer's Advance to get back there and attack. Let's go. So it comes to just put him on the Leafless Lady. Take her out if he can. Nice. All right, we've got control of Amaya back. Maybe can we use the Remove Fear? Hopefully that'll help us a little bit here. Uh, maybe we've got the storm call going. Maybe we need the uh, courage against these guys. I don't know. I think we're gonna take them down pretty easily. Let's let's go ahead and switch back to courage. They're trying to use all the fear stuff. 
No. If we if we do a channel, I'd like to get Kane in the midst. If we could, so let's move Bruin. They're up here. Then we can channel and get everybody. He does have the selective channel now, which is really nice. We can use that during fights and not worry about healing our enemies. Yes, he's gonna get the attack of opportunity when she tries to do anything. There is another one back there. There's two of them back here. I don't like you. Oh, Leopard's down. I was thinking I would send him to help Kane. He's not available. Let's make sure we get studied target on her. Maybe it already was. I think it already was. Oh, okay. He took her down. Nice. So, is there still another one back there? Was that just like a... Maybe it was like a mirror image or something. Hmm. All right, we should be able to finish these guys off. A solid plan. Ruin has that new bow we got with the uh, extreme cold on it. Nice. Just the one boogeyman left. Real time it. Finish him off. Yep. Okay. We took care of that. We still... What's happening? We're still uh, taking some damage here from something. <laughs> They're still uh, confused. They're taking damage from it though. Interesting. Okay, so we st still have this. Issue an urgent decree and protect the kingdom. This time Vicious Fae came to attack us. What's wrong with them? Why can't they just sit happily in their forests? We need to figure out how the barony will handle this new crisis. Okay, uh, well, there didn't appear to really be anything different about this. We took care of the Fae coming through the portal. But we got a helmet and a bow that we need to check out. Headband of Mental Perfection plus six. That could be nice for somebody. I guess we'll just go back to the capital and look at our kingdom events and see if there's anything else related to this. We're gonna swap out this Headband of Mental Perfection plus six for the plus four one that Bruin had on. It really gets his uh, numbers up there for wisdom. Okay, we're back. Here, I see Varn is back now, so we should talk to him about what happened uh, with the general and uh, see if maybe she came back here with him. That would be cool. We went to the uh, the keep where the general from the Varnhold's Lot DLC had been uh, kind of eternally cursed, I guess, to have to fight the monsters coming out of there forever. We went and saved her. So we have this evil pranksters. Okay. But this is what that is talking about. This seems like just the normal quest we usually get. We have to wait though till one of these guys is available. He'll be ready in two days. So I guess we don't really finish the bald hilltop quest until we take care of that. All right, this was one thing I wanted to get done. Kanaren Kalike's training. Get her level up to where we are. In case when we take her on her quest, if we need to fight, I want to make sure she's um, somewhat useful. So we'll start this up under BP. Maybe 16th. So if we do any like region claiming, we can't even. What about any rank ups? 
we could rank up espionage, but 14 days. That might put us over the end of the month. We can't do that because we got to take care of this. Maybe we just need to skip a couple of days. Okay, we can do this independence project. You chose to be independent of any Brevin factions and turned your lands into one of the truly free river kingdoms. Effect increases loyalty by 10 and espionage by 5. Also provides 3 BP per week for each espionage rank above 8. Cost 300 BP, but we get nice boost to those stats. So let's start that up. I think we'll also do this customs project, a plus two bonus to solving any problem with the treasure. So that will be handy. Start that up. Anything else here we can do while we're waiting? Don't believe so. Okay, we're gonna skip a couple of days. Yeah, we're losing stats because of those pranksters. Who is it? We need, we need him. One more day. Unrest went to worried. Oh, that was actually an increase. Okay. Success with the Gray Rebellion. And finished this. Region claims cost 15% less. That, that'll come in handy as well. And now we can do this one. This is the one I I feel like we don't need to spend a crisis point. One day, I feel like it always completes. I guess we'll find out. So we're just going to skip a day. Okay. The kingdom managed to persevere and enjoys peace once again. Yeah, I feel like the uh, percentage on those bald hilltop events, even it, it feels like they uh, complete no matter what. Maybe I've just been lucky. All right, back to the throne room then. The Ancient Curse part four. We just have to wait for news now. All right. So we're just kind of waiting on several things here. We're waiting on Lynxia to finish interrogating our citizens. We could go talk to Varn. Let's do that. For the first time since being saved from Vordekai, Mager seems back to his old self. Your Highness, he greets you warmly. Allow me to thank you once again for your help with Lost Larn Keep. Lost Larn, that's what it was called. I think you should know what really happened down in that dungeon. A curious picture is beginning to emerge from what I've learned from the General and from Cephal. This place used to be a Talden castle until the Fae arrived. The sorceress who lived there summoned a being from the first world who, who cursed and imprisoned her, then sank the entire castle under the ground and transformed it into an entertainment arena. The being called itself the Horned Hunter, but none of who have none who have heard the story can even vaguely imagine what he really is. Not even that Talden sorceress who Suffol talked to before he was driven from the dungeon. I thought we fought and killed the zombie. Cephal. As for the Horned Hunter, he appeared in person before the General and played a cruel joke, forcing the General to become the eternal guardian of Varnhold, to fight tirelessly for days. Varn's eyes flare up grimly. He also claimed that it was he who deluded Willis Gunderson and sent him to Vordekai's tomb. I'd like to find that worm and discuss his sense of humor. Fortunately or not, the Horned Hunter is no longer in the dungeon, and the portal to the First World has been closed. I think this is where the story of Lost Larn Keep ends. Too much magic madness in the area, don't you think? These are the stolen lands, Maker chuckles gloomily. There's good reason that not a single kingdom has survived here for thousands of years. Becoming barons here was some luck, wouldn't you say? Everything is clear, thank you. I owe you. Again and again I don't know how to repay you. Except with my loyalty and service, which you already have, of course. Okay. That finishes off that. I love crossing things off of the to-do list. That is done. 
we need to go back to the Tenebra's Depths, and maybe this will be a good time to do some of that. We've got some companion quests. The next companion quest I want to do is Kalike's, but we need to wait for her to finish ranking up. We need to talk to Knock Knock, and we need to go with Jaithal to the Valley of the Dead. I don't feel great urgency on either of those. So I think we've got some errands as well. All right, I think this will be another good time to just do kind of a, a circuit of our kingdom. We do have the books we need to give to Bakken, and we might be able to pick up a couple of the things that we need for these errands along the way. And while we do that, some of the projects we've got going can finish up and uh, move us forward there. Oh, let's check in with the storyteller before we head out. Oh, is this new? I found a remarkable artifact. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, Overnbane. Not all artifacts wish to reveal the truths about themselves, but I will do my best. Let me touch it. Give Overnbane to the storyteller. We actually already gave it to Amiri, but maybe uh, she'll give it to us. Okay. The moment he touches, over in Bane's hilt, the storyteller bares his teeth in a wicked grin. Gorum, he shouts at the top of his lungs. Watch me, my lord in iron, all this blood, all these severed heads, all these broken weapons and pieces of armor. I throw them all at your feet. I, Armag the Invincible, best among your fighters. You led me from one victory to another, and not once have I failed you. The glory of the Tiger Lords glowed over the lands like the light of a raging bonfire. It rose to the sky like the smoke of the cities we raised. None could match us. In your presence, my lord, no one could defeat us. Not people, not monsters, not the gods themselves. Our glory was so great that even Phrasma herself grew jealous. Oh, how she wished to bend us, break our pride, show us that no one is beyond death. But you, O Gorum, you fought her in the skies just as we destroyed her emissaries on the land. Galarian hasn't seen such a battle since the gods fought Rovagug. And we shamed her, my lord, oh yes. As my soul was about to depart my body, you snatched it from Phrasma's pale fingers, sealing it in this sacred sword so I might shed blood in your glory forever. My war will never end so long as this world stands. Blood, blood for Gorum. The elf jerks his hand away from the sword and heavy silence fills the air. That was quite a curious experience. He eventually manages. Thank you for your help. Okay. Any of these relics worth anything? Pick up a little bit of gold. All right. Okay, we do have we have a couple locations here we haven't been to and a couple resources to pick up. So I'm going to head up this direction towards Arbor Rock. Okay, we made it here to Arbor Rock. We'll see what this is. It feels good to have a little bit of a reprieve from the, the main quest. Hopefully we can get some things done and be prepared, as prepared as we can be for when everything starts to go downhill with pit axe. But I should, I need that to survive. Okay, so we've got an entrance here at Arbor Rock. Let's check the rest of the outside first. Looks like nothing out here. All right, let's see what's inside. Medium Earth Elemental. Several of them. And a large Earth Elemental. This might be a good time to try the banishment spell that Alora got. I'm not, I think maybe that works against elementals. So we might give it a shot. Okay, Leopard already took out one of the smaller elementals. These things might be a, a joke. Level four. That one's level 10. All right. Well, I just want to know if this would even work. Where is it? Here. Banishment. I'm not sure what counts as an extra planar creature. So we're going to find out if that includes earth elementals. It took care of that one. Okay. Nice. 
Well, it, we now know it does include earth elementals, at least. I would assume that means any type of elemental probably would be susceptible to that. Alright, this isn't even a fight. Alright. Oh, we picked up a diamond. Nice. We, we need to be uh, looking for those here. We uh, we have some spells that require diamonds and diamond dust. And that was something I never really paid attention to in my previous playthrough. Really need to uh, look out for that and pick it up when we can. There's probably somewhere we can purchase that, maybe eventually. Okay, that was Arbor Rock. I don't see a road to get to Talon Peak. I kind of wanted to try to check that out. Oh, maybe we've never been to this hilltop trail, but here is, there is a route here. I'm gonna pick up this resource first real quick and then come back down this way. Hilltop trail. Okay, we have got another cave here, a hilltop trail. It's kind of the similar standard map here. We've got First world action. There are many rooms. Swimmer cat. Let the attack come out. Okay, we finished off those two Dwemer cats. And my guess is there's more here than just that, but I don't know. Oh, there's a portal. Alright. I can see my destination. Okay, I guess we're going in the portal. Okay, here we go. That, that's a cool looking uh, portal there. We picked up some bracers of armor, plus five. Let me see if anybody needs those. I think the only one who might use those is her, and she's already got them. Okay. Now oh, we got Dwemer cats appearing. Dwemer lion. He does look bigger than the typical Dwemer cat. He just got a lot of attacks in there on Alvar. So it comes to this. Oh, we just got more coming in. <laughs> Kane got a big hit on the Dwemer lion, but we got some Dwemer cats here now to help. They're going to come charging in. Attack our squishy people. Dwemer Lion's down. Nice. That's really nice when... So I think, again, Alvar got a crit there. And Kane got an attack then, which took it down. I'll just have to resort to brute force. Okay, we're just down to this one. Let's real time it. Oh, did we get an, another one in here? He, he's just, like, portaling around. Anything else here that wants to attack us? Is that going to be it? I kind of expected maybe another portal, like leading somewhere else. It looks like that's everything. Alright. Back through the portal. So I expected a route up to Talon Peak from here, but there is not one. So I don't know, maybe, oh, maybe from this direction. Okay, so while we were traveling, Keston finished up with the crime prevention, which gives him a plus two bonus on resolving opportunities. And we got one day left on uh, Canary and Kalike's training. Still haven't finished this up. Okay, we made it up here to Talon Peak. We did get attacked by some air elementals along the way, and Alora used her banishment spell to just get rid of a couple of them. So I wasn't sure that spell would be as handy as it, it has been already. 
What do we have here at Talon Peak? Greater Giant Spider. Let's see if we can just real time this. A solid plan, enemy near. We're pretty adept at handling the spiders now. I can I think. see my destination. I'll, of course, I'll say that, and we'll uh, get in trouble. <laughs> Got swarms. There we go. And into the cave. Oh no, it's just like. Took us up here. Okay. Another my destination. doorway to somewhere. Uh, okay. This place, I think. I think we came here in my last playthrough. Don't remember what's here. Focus on the goal. I spy. What do I spy? Click. Okay, something opened somewhere. I think we can go up this way. Oh, there's another button there. Thud. There are many roads to success. Bandit. Heavily armed men are seated around the fire. They chat casually and pass around a flask, obviously not expecting ambush or eavesdropping in a place like this. Damned king and his damned guards since that ass down the stag lord. Honest people got nowhere to go to get themselves some coin. Yeah, honest people, huh? Just look where we ended up. Middle of nowhere. Her stealth plus 42. Wow. Hide and eavesdrop on the conversation. Did some of the stag lord's folk really join the king's guards? Sounds like life on easy street. Yeah, and maybe that's good for them, but I'm not cut out for boot licking. A sharp sword and a highway, that's the life for me. I'm not going to end up someone's lapdog. Enough. Cut the whining. We got to adapt if we want to survive. This birdie will bring us more gold than any trader, and then we can sell ourselves as mercenaries or go treasure hunting. We'll get by. Continue eavesdropping. With you in charge, we'll end up with our necks broken. Care to explain what demon possessed you to make us climb up a cliff when there's a neat, safe path on the other side? Why we gotta bother with all these hooks and ropes? Have you seen that path? Spiders everywhere, just swarming with spiders, crawling all around. Damned fat, furry beasts, I hate spiders. Haha, <laughs> really? You're afraid of spiders? I'm not afraid of nothing, it's just these damned spiders. Rather fight a troll than mess with those ugly beasts. Continue eavesdropping. Oh, watch out, there's a spider in your hair. Oh ha ha, I'm just exploding with laughter. Maybe you should become a bard, huh? Better yet, head straight to the capital, ask the king to hire you as a court jester. Just don't go through the front door, there might be spiders inside. Better take a rope and scale the back wall. Abyss take you all, you damn jokers. I'm gonna take a leak. The bandit stands and heads toward you on unsteady feet. Pushing him off the cliff would be easy right now. Push the bandit off the cliff. With a horrible scream, the bandit falls. His accomplices jump up and grab their weapons. Alright, these guys don't stand a chance. Let's go. Oh, I thought I was in real time. Yep, and next. Alright. So, this place is called Talon Peak, and they were talking about a birdie. The only bird I've seen so far was that little, like, duck walking around. Without a doubt. Oh, we can go down up there. Is that the one we pushed off the cliff? Hooks, rope, hammers, everything one would need to scale a mountain. 
That's too bad. They climbed all the way up here, and then we just uh, killed them. All right, down this way. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> We've got something flying in. Where'd it go? That was a large bird. Focus on the goal. There's the nest. As soon as you get close to the nest, a huge shadow moves across the sky. With a shrill shriek, a gigantic bird swoops down on you, her flapping wings making a veritable hurricane as she moves to protect her nest to her last breath. Oh. Did we fight this thing before? I don't... Is that ancient rock? Oh, maybe we did. It's quite the bird. We uh, are really in a poor position here to be able to see what's going on. Kind of feel bad for this thing. I mean, we didn't come up here planning to mess with its nest. But I guess since we're here... You've made your choice. All right, Kane's gonna take this thing down. Oh. Some fowl, an amulet, natural armor plus one. Not Let the most uh, impressive loot was that thing carrying around. Check out the nest. Oh, there's some stuff sitting in there, I guess. You hear the sound of metal scraping nearby. So those buttons and this thing, like, I can see my that open something to us? Is it just this? Maybe we couldn't... Oh, this gate was closed before, huh? So is this just an exit back out to the map? Okay, cool. We took care of Talon Peak. I'll be taking care of several things here. There's some more stuff here uh, further to the east. Uh, we're not going to head clear out there at this time. I think we will probably head back home. Maybe, uh, depending on what's going on with Kingdom stuff, then maybe we'll take a trip south. Um, there's some errands that require some things down around here, so maybe we can do those. We'll see. The errands uh, are <laughs> less than uh, thrilling to do. So I wonder if it would be closer just to Wow, that's still quite a ways. I was thinking of coming to Silvershire and teleporting home. But there's not a very direct route to get there. Probably about as fast just to go home. So I think we'll just head back to Tuskdale. So we got another pop-up about Lynxia and the Hell Knights. I can't remember what we did last time. It's feeling like we need to be like doing something about that. I mean, the the journal says we just need to wait, but we just we keep taking stat damage, which is rather annoying. Let's check our kingdom stuff here before we make the rest of the trip home. Failure with the slum dwellers opportunity. Finished up Kanera and Kalike's training. We've got some new things here. Our unrest is back to troubled. There's been a riot in the region. People rebelling against a corrupt mayor. Their accusations may be justified or they may be nothing but baseless defamation. This must be decided and dealt with. The region requires a stable administration or the rioting will soon spread. We've got choices here. Let's see what else we have. And okay, we have rats. Uh, we can put cast in on that one. All right, start it up. Start this one up. Okay, we're gonna keep heading home. I feel like I'm missing something though with the Hell Knights. This still just says await the conclusion of Linksia's investigation. So I don't know. I guess we just need to keep waiting. It really sucks though. We're back here in our capital. Um, I think 
it's maybe time to we're close to the end of the month so we could uh, go ahead and do some of the rank ups that we have when people become available like we may just do some of the uh, 14 day rank ups of our advisors that we need to do to get our stats up that may be the next thing and then I think we'll do Kanera and Kalike's quest maybe that'll be next as well thanks for being here thanks for watching I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again here in the Stolen Lands bye bye <laughs>